Good day. On today's video, I will show you how to remove the moldings on our car. You are right now on the Mercedes W123 channel. I'm Hervé and I will show it to you. First off, why we will need to remove the moldings on the car? Well, that will be done because we will need to paint the, uh, the bodywork. Huh? So if it's removed, you will have a much better result. And this will prevent that you've got marks like this. For instance, I'm not too sure if you can see it. I will try to focus on it. You can see this paint here. Huh? Um, so like that, we'll have a better result. As well, huh, when you know how to remove them, this prevents something like this to happen as you can see the person before tried to remove it and he twisted it now it's a problem to put it straight so i will show you how we, what we're going to use to uh, take them off this is what i will use i've bought that kit uh, on ebay um, so it comes with two lever like that huh? so there's one that's a bit thinner than the other one and we've got that uh, plier as well, uh, same thing, we place it under, we press it, and it will basically remove our molding, okay? Uh, so for the price, uh, it's best to have it, really. So now I will show you how it works. I will show you how to remove this one, for instance, on the door, okay? Uh, so what I'll do to give me a bit of space, I will use that one and that one to make a bit of pressure. Uh, so I will use this and I will press it inside and it should slightly open. Okay, that's great. Now we'll place our plier inside. Okay, now we're okay. And we can put a bit more pressure until you unclip. In case you place this at the back or wherever you got space. That's it, it popped, okay? And now we'll continue all the way so now with the handle is not very practical, but I will show you how to do it. Okay, second one is gone. You see, so it's quite easy to pop everything out. And that way we don't damage anything. Okay, now we reach the end. So here you go, careful. And you pop it out okay now as you can see there's no damage whatsoever on the door either okay the only thing we have here is dirt huh? uh, and this is this is basically what retain all the moisture and that creates um, rust on the car so it's quite important from time to time to remove it and clean it nicely okay you will notice as well that on, on the door or whatever panel you remove it, that those clips uh, remain on the door. That's good, okay? Sometimes they come with the, the molding, okay? So if that's the case, you will have to remove it and place it back inside, okay? So now time to clean the panel nicely. Uh, clean this as well, huh? clean all the, all the dirt that we've got here and mount it back. Once we've cleaned our panel, uh, now it's time to place back those little bits uh, inside the bodywork. Uh, so we usually push it, it clips and that's it. When you see that, it's a clear sign that the, the panel has been repainted. Okay, I will try to find those part number for you, uh, just in case you need it. Before to place back the trim, uh, I will clean all this. So I always use a very old um, toothbrush okay because it goes nicely everywhere so you put it in and you basically scrub it and see the difference it comes out very very nicely now of course you can use a little bit of detergent that help and once it's all clean then we can put it back in place you see this cleans all the nooks and cranny that's great because this as well can rust obviously yeah so it's always nice to clean it as best as we can you see here we go much much better so I will continue like that until I'm satisfied 
I would like to show you as well those two uh, molding, uh, which are exactly the same. Uh, both have been removed from the same uh, fender. And both cars are from the same year, 1981. But the two are different. When we look at them on that side, they look exactly the same. But on the inside, it's different. We can see this one, it's more open. Huh? So more prone to dirt going inside um, and obviously creating rust. And on this one, you can see it's more closed. So much better because we don't have so much of dirt that goes in uh, and basically, well, less rust, okay? So on this one as well, you see the pins, they kind of um, stay in place. On that one, they move. Huh? So basically, uh, when comes the time to place it back, uh, we'll have to make sure they are adjusted. Huh? To mount it, very easy. Uh, we we'll just make sure the pins are at the same level, okay? It's best to start here because like that because of the door if not you open it okay you place it okay you place two or three and then you knock it with the your hand that's it done next one that's it and we continue like that until it's completely fitted and that's it perfect as you have seen it's an easy job especially with uh, these simple tools okay um, I know most of you will tell me wow hey place a, a link where you have bought it so as I told you I bought it on eBay uh, but I likely you will find it on Amazon or other platform okay why I will not place the the link It's because if once I post the video today and you see today it's great huh? the, the link will work but if you see that video uh, in three years time for instance the link will not be valid okay so there's no point putting it what I will do however I will place on the video uh, either um, a screen copy uh, uh, so like that you can see what I've uh, what I found or as well what I've searched uh, I, I'll find something okay so that will make your life much easier and like that you will um, you will prevent bending it okay which you don't want uh, okay so I hope that you have liked the video I hope this has been useful to you and we'll see each other in the next one take care